Today's recipe, roast bison rib roast. It's gonna be really good, and I think you're gonna like it. So uh, seven days ago, I took it out, thawed it, and uh, wrapped it in cheesecloth. Put it in the refrigerator for seven days to let it kinda dry age a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna unwrap it right now. And it really, really should taste good with a little bit of aging. And uh, really looking forward to this. Oh, nice. Super nice. That's going to be really good. It's going to be a simple spice of just salt and pepper. And uh, we're going to throw it in the oven on super high heat, about 500 for about 15, 20 minutes to get a nice crisp crust on it. Then I'm going to turn it way down to about 325 and cook it about, uh, about 20 minutes, 15 minutes per pound. Uh, I'm going to some one, two, three, four, five ribs, probably six pounds of meat here. And uh, so we'll go from there. Okay, like I said, simple seasoning, uh, kosher salt, cracked black, pe black pepper. And uh, first I oiled it up top and bottom. Then I worked in all that salt and uh, then put the, dusted it with the black pepper, both sides uh, on the ends. And uh, we're gonna let this sit at room temperature for a little while, uh, maybe an hour, we'll heat the oven up and uh, go for about 15 minutes on 500 degrees to get a nice serious bark on this baby. So uh, we'll be back to show you that in a little bit. So we've been sitting this out for about an hour up to room temperature. And uh, I've got the oven preheated to 500. Uh, we're gonna throw this in for 15 minutes at 500, and I'm gonna turn that heat all the way down to like 325 and let it cook slow and low. Uh, you might be wondering why it's, it's just the wife and I, why do we have such a big roast? Well, originally it was gonna be Owen, Reed, Andrea, Dylan, but because, you know, the holidays, nobody came to see us, so I guess we'll have to eat all of it ourselves. <laughs> Here we go. It's been about 15 minutes on high heat, 500. Uh, we're gonna lower this down to 325, and let's take a sneak peek. I don't recommend doing this, but I just can't wait to see the crust. Ready? Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Smells wonderful, too. Owen's gonna like this. We've taken the roast out. I think it's done. Uh, I'm reading 128 in the center. Super. It's gonna be uh, medium rare. Uh, if you take a look at that, you I'm going to let it tent here in a tin foil. So you wrap it up, you clean it up, and that's good. Uh, I've got a little bit of butter melting in the skillet, and I've got some drippings over here. I'm going to make some sort of au jus. Uh, we'll check it out and see how it works. I've got some uh, beef broth to add to it uh, in the event it doesn't work out, but it should be fine. I took all the juices out of there and dumped it in the skillet with a little bit of butter. And uh, now I'm going to throw a little flour in and let this cook for a while. Whoa, there we go. Let that stiffen up and uh, it's going to make a great sauce. Let me stir that in a little bit. It's going to take about four or five minutes to cook this flour and get the, get the consistency right. And you don't want any lumps in this gravy. This is going to be good. And a secret ingredient, a little balsamic. Put that in there. That'll be nice. Wow, it smells great. Oh, that's looking nice. That's looking real nice. That's like perfect right there. Okay, the resting period should be done. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And let's uh, let's take a slice or two out of this and see where we're at. Oh, that crispy end is 
beautiful. And we get into this a little bit more. Ah, look at that. Juicy, tender. Mm. I'm going to have to try this. Really good. You know what's better? A little bit of horseradish on there. Mm. Wow, that, that's really good. Let's have another bite here with the horseradish. Mm. So tender. So good. I think you're gonna like this. You need to make it the low and slow after the crusty, really good. The seven day aging, outstanding. Mm. Very good. Thanks for watching.